I found a love for me well, Darling, just dive right in well, Follow my lead well, I found a girl Beautiful and sweet well, I never knew you were the someone Waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you up this time But Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is all I own And in your eyes, your Between my arms, barefoot on the grass, well, listening to our favorite song. When you said you looked a mess, I whispered underneath my breath, but you heard it, darling. You look perfect tonight. Well, I found a woman Stronger than anyone I know She shares my dreams I hope that someday I'll share her home I found a love To carry more than just my secrets To carry love To carry children Of our own
this woman to be married today her family and I <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Yeah <laughs> you here <laughs> I love you I love you <laughs> All right, just give you a minute to wipe those tears. <laughs> yeah, good luck to any other groom. <laughs> Try and top that one. <laughs> you can go ahead and be seated. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be autographs after the ceremony. <laughs> all right, a big welcome to all the family and friends, the Jamily here today. <laughs> Thank you for coming together to witness and confirm and to bless the love and the covenant of marriage between Victor Edward Sericio and Angela Dawn Price. <laughs> the love story of God with us begins in the garden. So it's perfectly fitting today that we would gather in this setting to declare and seal, to celebrate the beauty of the love and commitment shared between Angie and Vic. A beautiful garden is the setting that God chose when he formed his love into the image of himself and gave life to a son and a daughter. He set that family down in the middle of a garden and he told them to tend it and to keep it. He told them it would require work <laughs> and that they were perfectly designed for that work. And a garden is a perfect picture of what a life full of the love of God looks like daily watering, near constant tending and care. There is a wildness to the mess of it, and there is nothing more beautiful or fulfilling. When I first met with Vic and Angie and we started talking about what this day would look like, there were consistent themes that came up about wanting to honor God with their commitment to one another and to wanting their family and their community to be blessed by that commitment as well. When I asked them specifically why they wanted to be married, which I think is a really important question to ask, <laughs> Angie said that she wanted to honor God with their marriage and that she wanted to invite his blessing on all of their shared life and family. And Vic said that he knew that Angie was a gift from God and that the best way to honor that gift was to marry her. Yay. Here, here, right? <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about God's design for them and his blessings that's going to come upon them. The mystery and the power of unity. In Genesis, God said, Let, let's make man in our likeness and in our image. So he did. <laughs> he was talking to himself, like we often do. Let's do this. It'll be a good thing. And so he created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. And then Adam said this when he saw that beautiful woman. He said, for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. The act of union, of being joined, is the act of marriage. Vic, in Proverbs, it says that he who finds a wife finds treasure and obtains favor with God. And I know that you already have recognized the treasure that Angie is in your life, mm -hmm. and you've already begun to walk in the favor that comes with that, but I'm here to tell you today that's only going to increase from here on out. <laughs> so you get ready, brother, okay? Okay, I'm ready. 
It also says in Proverbs, Angie, that an excellent wife or a wife of noble character is a crown on the head of her husband. So your love, your commitment to Vic is the honor that he wears proudly every day, everywhere he goes. Some women want to be the neck, you know, to move the head. But you are the honor that sits on top of it. Your love is the thing that gives him nobility in everything that he does. It's a beautiful gift. And in Ecclesiastes it says this, two are better than one, for they have a more satisfying return for their labor. For if either of them falls down, one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and does not have another to lift him up. Again, if two lie down together, they keep warm. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. <laughs> but how can one keep warm alone? And though one can overpower him who is alone, two can resist him. And a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Vic. Angie, you and Jesus are that cord, and your promises and your love will not be broken as long as you keep him at the center. So with that, we're going to move into the vows portion. Okay, so I, I wrote my vows about a month ago, and I was just reading through them last night, and after the last, this month getting ready for this, I just, I had mad on. <laughs> and that is it. <laughs> so I can't get my screen to work here, but this doing life with you is like dreaming the happiest dream I've ever had, and I don't ever want to wake up. <laughs> this month has been challenging for sure. I can't make it work. Mm. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, this month, this last month has been challenging for sure, and every step of the way you have encouraged me, put out fires, calmed my shizzle down. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Said, you want to do what? <laughs> okay, I'll make that happen. And then you made it happen in a way that exceeds my imagination. Every day you greet me with, hello beautiful, did you sleep well? Every day you do whatever it takes to put a smile on my face. Each day with you is more amazing than it was yesterday. I love you more each and every day. And now I'll read my original vows. Can <laughs> <laughs> right. you read them from here? Yeah. Nice! Want to get married? Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> Vic, the day I met you, you walked up to me with that big smile of yours in your big heart walking right out in front of you. I could sense that you were a good man, and as time went on and we got to know each other, you proved over and over again just how good of a man you truly are. You are a man of integrity, you are kind and generous to all, you are never judgmental, and because of these qualities you are loved by so many. You have an honest heart and you love the Lord. You are a good father to your children. You are gentle and kind and understanding with them, and I know you will be the same to my children. You love me unconditionally, and you bend over backwards to make me happy. With gentle reminders, you inspire me to be a better version of myself. I love you so much, Vic, and today I am so very happy and honored to marry you. I am not perfect. I can be quite fiery, as you call it. <laughs> <laughs> And I thank you for forgiving me when I'm too opinionated and too fiery. <laughs> Today, for the rest of my life, I promise you that I will love you, I will honor you, I will respect you, I will believe in you, I will partner with you in all that I do, I will always be honest with you. I love you, you and I deeply cherish the man you are. I am super happy to become your wife. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm going to do some vows in just a minute, but first, I wrote a song. <laughs> so Angie, step forward a little bit. 
Can you hand me that music stand? Wow. All right. <laughs> A little too low. The whole thing. A little suspenseful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is this on? Okay. <laughs> And we're going to have a little participation on this song, too. Oh, boy. So, just so you know, be ready. <laughs> Wouldn't be a big song about it. Angie, I love your smile. I love your style. I love everything about you. Angie, you know it's true. When well, I'm with you, because everything is all right. When I met you, I was so glad. I finally found what I never had. You are a gift from heaven above. <laughs> Forever and ever, you are the one that I love. I love your smile. I love your style. I love everything about you. Angie, you know it's true when I'm with you. Because everything is all right. You love my music and all of my friends. All of my family and the friends ever had. You my one is in my life. Angie, I can't wait for you to be my wife. Angie, I love your style. I love your smile. I love everything about you. Angie, you know it's true when I'm with you. Because everything is all right. You're so beautiful inside and out. But when there's a problem, we work it out. You're always going to be my girl. Because it's you and me. We're going to take on the world. style. I love everything about you. Angie, you know it's true when I'm with you because everything is all right. Angie. All right, sing it. Ready? Angie. Angie. Yes, I used one of those guitar picks. Awesome! <laughs> I gotta wait. Oh, thanks. No yes. Yet. Okay, so I have some vows too that I wrote. Seriously, thank you everybody for singing and clapping along. All right. I love you, Angie. I knew right from the start that you were a precious gift from God when you came into my life. Thank you for embracing all the things that make me, me. Your understanding, connection, and encouragement in so many ways. In our spirituality, our connection with God is in our lives, our actions, our conversations, our hearts, and now in our marriage. As both of us are parents, we understand and share each other's deep love and commitment for our children and our family. And this amazing, wonderful, sometimes kooky, crazy, magical thing I do <laughs> called music. <laughs> Angie, you understand the why. The why is I love all these amazing people. Our music brothers and sisters, our friends, and music community. The why is love. And Angie, not only do you understand this love, you are also shining your loving light to all, to everyone right by my side. How cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> Angie, I will always be there for you. I will take care of you if you're down and celebrate with you all of the good times. I will give you my love, receive your love, and live our best life together. In our future, we will do great things and grow together. With you, I know I'll never have to do anything alone. My love for you grows stronger every day, and forever I will love you as my beautiful wife, Angie.
Beautiful. Well done, both of you. That's so beautiful. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're almost there. That's doing so good. All right. Well, rings have become such an appropriate symbol as they represent the character and love of God toward us. A love that is without beginning and without end. A love that you now share with each other. And the exchange of rings is as ancient as humanity itself. And the ring finger was chosen because the ancients believed that there was a vein that ran directly from this finger to your heart. So marriage is a physical covenant of sex. It is a spiritual... You guys can say, yeah, heck yeah. Heck yeah, okay. It's a spiritual covenant of union as God designed. And it is a binding or a tying of your souls together till you truly become one. And that is a mystery in God. But you, you become the male and female image of God together as one. And because marriage is a symbol of the love that he has for us, his sons and daughters, he takes those promises that we share and that he shares with us very seriously. In fact, they asked Jesus about marriage and he said this, What did Moses command you? And they replied, Moses permitted us to write a certification of divorce that would be valid. And Jesus said, yes. Moses permitted this because you were hard-hearted. But from the beginning, God created male and female. And then he quoted Adam and said, For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. And he adds this, And after they do this, they no longer exist as two, but as one flesh. So there you have it. What God has joined together, let no man split apart. Hallelujah. I would like to speak specifically to you as a community of witnesses, just briefly. Um, I charge you today as witnesses, you have come to testify and to, and to share the love and commitment between these two today. Be a witness every day to their love as you are today. Encourage them on in love. Always encourage them back to one another through good times and hard times. Continue to be this community of love that they cherish so much. I know I spoke briefly about the themes that came up when we talked about this day. And they were, they were honoring God and honoring family. And we sing a song that perfectly kind of encapsulates that idea. And Miss Brandy Lynn is going to come down and sing it now. Sounds good. <laughs> And their children, 
and their children may his favor be upon you for a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children Trumpet sounds. All right, guys. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom, peace. It is now my privilege by the authority of heaven in the state of Washington to pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, we didn't do the rings. I forgot the rings. Oh, the rings. Oh, <laughs> okay, hold on. Start Back up. <laughs> Except for one thing. Nice. They're already married, but we're going to do rings real quick. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it. We just didn't do it. <laughs> All right. Angie, as you place the ring on Vic's finger, you can say, I choose you today and every day. Vic, I choose you today and every day. <laughs> and Vic? Angie, I choose you today and every day. <laughs> and now, now you got to kiss again. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Victor Sericio. <laughs> 